Vice President Kamala Harris once again is leaving Americans scratching their heads. This time it was for her passionate speech about yellow school buses. Who doesn't love a yellow school bus, right? Can you raise your hand if you love a yellow school bus, right? Just there's something about the, and, and most of us, many of us went to school on the yellow school bus, right? The memory of, of the excitement and joy of going to school to be with your favorite teacher, to be with your best friends, and to learn. The school bus takes us there. Jimmy Fallon, the host of Fox Across America, Fox Nation, joins us now. Jimmy, have you ever heard anyone, anyone, repeat words so close, so close together, <laughs> so often, so often as Kamala? Well, this is why she's had enough staffers quit to fill a big yellow school bus. Oh. Kamala is the Times Square Rolex of people. Like from afar, oh yeah, it's a Rolex. Then you get a little closer, there's something off. Okay, in this case, the laugh goes off at the wrong time or the redundancies of the word salad. But she's just such a performative, inauthentic human being. We've seen this with Venn diagrams, remember? Ugh. I just love a Venn diagram! And everybody's <laughs> yeah. like, is this person medicated? What's going and on? And the kids in the space. Yeah. Have you ever heard of space? <laughs> <laughs> I saw somebody on Twitter say she's um, getting in on the that, that. Well, uh, I saw somebody on Twitter say that it sounded like she was about to start seeing the wheels on the bus. Well, she <laughs> was that <laughs> close. Hey, she just had a birthday, which is a commemoration of the day you were born because your mother gave birth on that day. Yes. So, happy birthday to Kamala. Yes, we'll be talking about another person's birthday later on in the oh, segment. Oh, tease. I mean, while Kamala was focusing on buses, Biden was focusing on planes. Watch. <laughs> Some airlines, if you want six more inches between you and the seat in front, you pay more money. Look, folks, these are junk fees. They're unfair, and they hit marginalized Americans the hardest, especially low-income folks and people of color. Jimmy, what's more idiotic, that theory you just heard from President uh -huh. Biden or the mayor of New Orleans saying black women aren't safe in coach? <laughs> well, listen, I want to stop here and acknowledge that we're all relieved he didn't claim to be an airline pilot. <laughs> Every time we've ever seen him go near a tractor trailer, he's like, I drove a tractor trailer. They're like, no, he didn't. Oh, my God. So the whole time I was watching that, I was waiting for him to be like, you know, back when I was flying a commercial jet. So there's that. But this is such, it's like Democrat women. 101 and that they take up these straw man arguments on behalf of the black community that nobody asked for. Like, people are getting crushed by inflation and crime. Biden was like, I've got it. More leg room and coach. Right? Apparently, that's what he thought. BLM stands for Black Leg Room Matters. Come on, man. This is embarrassing. <laughs> hey, you could say a lot of things affect certain communities a certain way, but leg room and coach? It makes no sense. Like, I was trying to bridge the gap between what he thought was a good, coherent, you know, and maybe where it was going. Yeah. And I don't think anybody, you know what I mean? No. It's, it's, I don't want to try to speak Biden. I think it's a place you've got to get to, a, like, as a method actor. Right, right. Yeah, it's a dark place. You gotta really next, thing you, next thing you know, I'm excited about school buses. <laughs> I can't have this on me. Back to the birthday topic. Oh. So social media users, they're celebrating Hillary Clinton's birthday. It was yesterday. She turned 75. By digging up, remember that 2016 oh, tweet yeah. where she referred to herself as our, <laughs> quote, future president? Um, that was on, the, like I said, 2016 right before she lost to Donald Trump. So this was circulated <laughs> on social media yesterday. Cute kid. Cute. Oh, she was a cute kid. Give her that. And yes. to be clear, okay, it's not wrong if she wins someday. You know, as much as we're laughing at her she now. She did say future. Future, but she didn't say when. This is my favorite Hillary Clinton and there are video, things, by the way. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> What's going on there? I mean, listen, I do think she's going to run again. Never underestimate. You two. do. Yes, they always say the presidency is a disease that's only curable by death. And what that means is if you really want to be president, you spend your entire existence wanting to be president right. until the day you die. Don't underestimate two things. Her will to be president, Bill's will to get her out of the house. Oh, How good is a nine-month campaign for BC? He's living his best life. As a comedian, how much do you love the residual value of a tweet like that from Hillary? It's oh, it's great. Six, it's been six years. Right. Since you know how many people? Somebody posted that Because Twitter has milestones for like disastrous tweets now, and so many people have like reminders in their phone. They're like, "Oh, today I get to do the Hillary birthday tweet thing," yeah. and that's it's become like a lifestyle. But she is; she's a gift that keeps on giving. So well, I want her to run. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Clinton. You're the it's gift that keeps on giving. Future president. <laughs> Jimmy, you are as well the oh, gift that keeps guys. on giving. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks for Safe joining travels, us this morning, my friends. as always.